next day. Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys, man. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, and the fact that we're already in the car, we're jumping straight into this video. So let's just go ahead and get started with today's topic. Now, like I say, y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, bro. Today, we're going to be talking about the mods that I believe, I want to say, really and truly, the top four mods that I believe is going to get you the most bang for your buck when it comes to making power on these 6th gen Camaros. All right, bro. So the reason for this video is simply because I had a couple subscribers reach out to me asking me a couple different questions um, concerning a couple different mods and how much power they can make with the tune and those mods. Now, whenever one of you guys asks me a question, bro, um, of that fashion or nature, I'm going to be brutally honest. In general, I'll be brutally honest, but when it comes to making horsepower numbers on the dyno and, you know, actually making power... I'm gonna be brutally honest, especially because of the simple fact that I've gone through, what, four tuners now? Shout out my man, RK, bro. You know what I'm saying? Finally found a legitimate tuner in RK. But before him, I was just getting messed over left and right by supposed tuners who swore they knew what they was doing and they didn't. So first things first, the number one thing is gonna be a legitimate tuner, bro. If you do not have a legitimate tuner who is familiar with the LT platform, you're already screwed, straight like that. You could have a heads cam package and somebody whose specialty and expertise is tuning LS motors is trying to tune your car. There's so many more parameters and variables that you have to control with these vehicles than with an LS car. So naturally, you're not gonna make any power because they don't know what the hell they're doing. It's that simple. Sadly, I was going through that um, for a good while and thinking that the people that was tuning the car, quote unquote, had my back and they really did it. They was just there for the clout. But it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So number one is gonna be a legitimate tuner, bro. Number two, it's going to be a set of catless long tube headers. Now, at first, for the LS motors, inch and seven eighths were goaded. You know what I mean? Everybody was trying to get inch and seven eighths. But it turns out that the two inch headers are more impactful when horsepower numbers come to play than the inch and seven eighths. Just letting you guys know that. Now, that being said, the next thing is going to be an intake manifold, bro. If you go with an intake manifold, nine times out of ten, you're looking at either the one of these three. LT2, MSD, or a Holly. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Your choice really lines up with what you want to do with the car, bro. If you want to cut your hood and you want to go max effort, then holly all the way, bro. Holly all the way because no manifold is going to top in that holly. Straight like that. Um, but if you want to go for a more stock incognito look, then you're torn between the LT2 and the MSD. Now, at first, when these cars first came out, the LT2 was praised over the MSD. Oh, yeah, bro, you're going to make way more power with a, a LT2 than you will with an MSD. And the LT2 is way cheaper. Well, you know, through more research, it was found and discovered that the MSD actually makes more power than the LT2 does when ported. So, I personally run a ported LT2 on my car. It works phenomenal. However, I've been told the MSD is the way to go. So for that, my friends, I will leave in the discretion of y'all. 
somebody actually recently dropped a comment on a recent video asking about going catless in E85, just like on the Mustangs, if it's worth it. To me personally, bro, I'm, I'm gonna leave you guys with this, okay? To me personally, whatever you wanna do to your car, you should do to your car. Don't let anybody on the internet or anybody in your ear steer or guide you to make a decision that you didn't want to make off the rip. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to go put a cam in your car and you just wanted a little stage one cam because you wanted to hear the chop and somebody told you, nah, man, if you're going to put the cam in the car, you might as well go all the way and do a stage three or a custom grind cam, whatever. At the end of the day, bro, it's just advice. You gotta make the decision for yourself. Me personally, bro, I don't see the point in paying all that money to get a tune just to do E85 and go catalyst. Because at the end of the day, a NA vehicle, and this is across all platforms, a NA vehicle is gonna make less power than a boosted vehicle would make on E85. All day, bro, all day, guaranteed. E85 is shows more gains on boosted applications than it does on naturally aspirated ap applications. So if you had a ZL1 or a Z06 and you were thinking about going catless in E85, now that's different. You would actually see a gain, but having an SS or a Stingray and trying to go catless with E85, bro, honestly, you're not gonna see a difference. It's it's just, it's it's proven. You're not gonna see a difference in horsepower numbers. Um, and the numbers that you will see, of course, you know, if you have a legitimate tuner or a right tuner, a good tuner, um, you'll see that the car is pulling better. It feels like way healthier, but the numbers aren't gonna be that, oh, 20 plus or 30 plus, 40 plus wheel gain. You know what I'm saying? That you're expecting. So if you really wanna go catless with an E85 tune, fam, by all means do it, bro, because it's your car. Like, do what you wanna do to your car. But just don't expect to see crazy gains, bro, because honestly, you're not going to. It's just it's just the honest truth. It's the honest truth. And you know, you could take it with a grain of salt. You could take it seriously. It's up to you, bro. At the end of the day, I'm just I'm just here to try to point you guys in the right direction based off of the knowledge that I've learned over the years of dealing with this car and and tuners, man. But give me one second. Let me run in here and grab me a monster, bro. Get in. Get master. Good morning. Y'all, get out. Y'all already know. Need that. Y'all know I needed me that monster real quick. Let's go ahead and get this quick little warm start for y'all, man. Yeah, we can end out this vlog. Yes, sir right way you feel me the right way subscribe follow your boy on ig and subscribe if you haven't already man but yeah man as i was saying bro you know what i'm saying it's all up to you personal preference and whatnot but if you are trying to see a legitimate horsepower gain bro you're trying to see a legitimate change in power to the wheels bro I recommend going with an intake manifold, a throttle body, both ported, um, a Rotofab cold air intake, long tube headers, and E85. You'll be happy. Now, if, you know, money isn't an issue, and see, bro just pulls out in front of me, and his bumper is barely hanging on. It'll be just my luck. His bumper flies off and hits my car. Not doing it. Um, but anyway... If money isn't an issue and you really trying to go like full send, well, not even full send, but you really trying to, you know what I'm saying? 
get up there in horsepower numbers, bro, go ahead, get yourself a head scan package. On a 6th gen, if you got a 10 speed, make sure that you got a trans tune. I currently do not have. Okay, bro, I'm not playing this game with y'all. Like, stepping on your brakes for what? There's nobody in front of you. Like, come on, man. But anyway, go ahead, get you a trans tune, get you a head scan package, and thank me later. But if you're just trying to do some entry level stuff, you know, some little Botan stuff, like myself as of right now, long tube headers, ported intake manifold and throttle body, E85, and a good cold air intake with a solid tuner, bro. And you can still get a trans tune. That's what's next for my car. But yeah, get right.